Meghan Markle is like licorice, you either love her or don't, an old friend has said. According to Shannon Gavani the Duchess of Sussex is also a shapeshifter who will easily reinvent herself as she faces life outside the royal family. The Prince Harry and Meghan have now moved to her home state of California before the borders between Canada and the US were shut over coronavirus fears. Shannon Govan got to know the 38-year-old Duchess through Toronto's social circles, while the then-actress was filming Suits. He said someone who knew her said, she is like licorice. You either love her or you don't. He revealed how once Meghan made a surprise appearance with her then-boyfriend, celebrity chef Gory Vitiello at his home in Toronto for a dinner party while she was filming Suits. I recall turning in my kitchen to find her near the fridge and our conversation moving to the time she had spent living in Buenos Aires, he wrote. Something that has stayed with me, especially post-Megxit, is that Meghan is no stranger to picking up and reinventing herself, be it in Argentina, Canada, the UK, or now, LA. Both a go-getter as well as a shape-shifter, she returns now with more social mojo than she could have ever imagined then. By March 2020, Markle was already unleashing that social mojo on Los Angeles, where she and Harry moved after leaving Canada behind. The Sussexes were previously mocked when the prince was filmed asking Disney CEO Bob Iger to cast Markle in something, you know she does voiceovers? The prince reportedly said, and later reports suggested that the actress had instructed her agent to find her a role in a superhero movie. It seems as though Markle was making herself at home. But how was Harry handling it? Was the royal keeping up with his shape-shifting wife? I don't know how his career is going to map out, Dr. Jane Goodall, a famous primatologist and a good friend of Harry's told the Radio Times that April. I've been in touch, though I think he's finding life a bit challenging just now. Meghan Markle was widely blamed when the Sussexes announced they were going to step back from royal life and branch out on their own in January 2020 both on social media and in the tabloids. Is it Meghan's fault? It's hard to escape the conclusion that having grown up in a country that considers the Kennedys to be aristocracy, Meghan didn't understand that being a Windsor is not like being a celebrity, Express columnist Virginia Blackburn wrote. It wasn't just the Brits who were unhappy about Megxit either. Canadian millionaire Kevin O'Leary claimed the Sussexes were much less interesting now that they weren't senior royals, and he believed Markle was to blame, I think Meghan got him into a bad place, and maybe she should do a little soul-searching. She knew what she was getting into when she married him. If this claim is true, then was Megxit actually her plan all along? Many seem to think so, and there's even some proof, well, kind of. According to page 6, Markle put some of her clothes in a Toronto storage facility prior to her wedding. An insider claimed that she had the items delivered to her and Prince Harry's rented property on Vancouver Island when they arrived in Canada following the announcement. Why did Markle keep all those clothes in storage across the Atlantic for two years? It appears as though she knew she'd be back at some stage. Meghan Markle starred on the hit show Suits for years, we would never try to take that away from her, but let's be honest, she didn't become a household name until her relationship with Prince Harry, and her reps may have tried to take advantage of that newfound notoriety.